happiness through curiosity on TRS Clips. We had an expert in molecular biology recently on the show, Dr. Neeraj Rai. Hmm. Uh, he confirmed a theory that I had. Uh, my theory was that in the world of plants, which is also Ayurveda, uh, there are too many secrets as well as solutions. Now, Ayurveda or Chinese medicine or shamanic medicine over the centuries have figured out how to use plants to a large degree. Yeah. And generally, the world of pharmaceuticals actually studies the same plant medicine, tries understanding what is the active molecule in this particular plant that's causing this effect, mm -hmm. and then tries mimicking that molecule in a lab in many cases of creating medication. Yeah. I think that's where the world of modern science also needs to go, that mm -hmm. uh, we need to kind of break down Ayurveda a lot more because this is an ancient science. Yeah. Everything that Ayurveda says mm. seems to be working for the modern day human. Yeah. Therefore, there needs to be more research done on Ayurveda to understand it more deeply mm. and to back it mm. by the stamp of Western science Evidence. even more. Evidence, yeah. 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 Uh, but again, it's an ongoing process. Yeah. I think some of it has been proven. Even Dr. Huberman keeps talking about a lot of Ayurvedic stuff, mm. but it's just touched the surface. I think yes. I think the world only knows Ashwagandha mm. right now. Mm. Um, and they know Haldi. <laughs> Turmeric, turmeric, whatever. Yeah. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about these two? These are very hot topics from an international uh, point of view. Point of view. Yeah. yeah. And these are the two things that the West knows. And knowing the West, they're going to deep dive and get to know about all yeah. this other stuff that people like yourself already know. Mm -hmm. So where do you want to begin talking about? Let's let's talk about haldi. Yes. Turmeric. Turmeric uh, is has been a only a one of one of a few in one of the ingredients uh, thousands one of the thousands of ingredients in ayurveda so haldi has so many benefits herb benefits etc but um, now uh, curcumin is the active ingredient that uh, uh, that is uh, alleviating pain in enhancing immunity curbing autoimmune diseases this uh, curcumin has uh, found to be uh, uh, well researched in this so but uh, as per ayurveda there is a different approach like uh, taking a holistic part it's not about extracting a particular ingredient to work on a particular thing because um ayurveda says that as i told you before also there balance of formulations in the same way if we extract a particular ingredient and uh, uh, make it work on a particular thing. There are certain issues that may come along with that. So even if it is naturally extracted, uh, if a particular ingredient has to work for a long term, that may have some side effects. Okay. So blindly, we can't follow a single drug, especially a single drug. Because in Ayurveda, single drug, when I say single drug, it does mean raw material raw herbal material so uh, depending on a single drug is not the way of ayurveda it gives everything in combinations okay so um. the extraction part of uh, curcumin is something different from what ayurveda prescribes okay got it and also long term usage of ashwagandha uh, ayurveda doesn't insist long term usage of any particular medicine or any particular herb even if it is a food material uh, it only prescribes certain materials that can be used day on a daily basis for example green um, like uh, mudgada green gram honey these uh, materials these food items are prescribed in ayurveda saying that this can be taken as long as you can Okay. That is restricted to six or five, six numbers. As in, there's only six food items. Food that items that uh, Ayurveda insists that you can take it lifelong. Rest all are conditional. Okay. And all the herbs that we are talking about, long term intake of a particular thing can, um, you have to stop when the desired effects come. There is a condition called satmya. In Ayurveda, that means when the body gets used to a particular item. Okay. And uh, once you stop that, the capacity of the body to generate that particular 
effect naturally is t- tends to deteriorate then body tends to lose that capacity of doing that for the body so okay. particular drug we uh, is not uh, as such can't be taken for a long time it should be taken for a desired period of time and then we need to uh, stop using it okay. that is the way it works and now the nutraceutical industry um, projecting these things is actually a very concerning topic what is nutraceutical nutraceutical is nutrition plus pharmaceutical that okay. is nutrition in the form of food supplements we get got it uh, nice. there are so many uh, glutathione for uh, for example we can say glutathione is very very popular these days for making your skin fairer Mm. right uh, uh, um, because it were it was taken by few celebrities or uh, public figures or in the glamour world before of 3 to 5 years before but now the masses are so aware and this mass uh, demand has uh, made nutraceutical or nutrient supplement industry make glutathione supplements and every every one or two years there's a new wave Ingredient of something Ingredient coming in yeah. but you know uh, the the danger of uh, these kinds of items these these individual ingredients are used in nutraceutical industries without any guidelines hmm. it comes as it comes in the food supplement range hmm. uh, any company can with an fssi license can introduce a new product saying it is a nutrient supplement and what is the future of this people taking collagen glutathione melan- melatonin sub- as supplements for a long term mm. where, where are the studies mm. do you have any studies or where where which is the source of this ingredient how this is processed right and um, when we people usually search on google and they say there are no reports of any side effects mm. but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have any side effects Yeah. So this kind of ingredient based food supplements popular in market is actually a scam. It 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 doesn't fall in the pharmaceutical range. So there are less rules and regulations to be followed. Got it. I think even uh, Dr. Huberman at least I remember he had one episode on melatonin and so many people that I've met in Mumbai mm. uh if we are ever discussing sleep problems which is a very common thing for people are yeah. uh there's always someone who say oh why don't you take a melatonin supplement? and i remember huberman saying that he himself doesn't take it just because there isn't that much research done on it so it's mysterious what it does yeah. all they know is that even pre pubescent kids like uh, people i mean humans under the age of 13 uh, it can cause some damage i can't remember what the damage was but i think it's something related to mental function yes yes it it can cause fatigue lethargy and uh, i i think it was early onset of puberty is caused therefore yes. there is a shift of hormones therefore that could mean that in adults who take melatonin uh, there could be a shift of hormones and you don't know what that shift of hormones can be yeah. um rather than you know taking external hormones to fix a problem try getting to the root of the problem yes, why yes. you not sleeping well yeah. do you have anxiety okay yeah. there is yoga to deal with anxiety there Definitely. are breathing techniques to deal with yeah. anxiety yeah. there is meditation to deal with anxiety uh try those things so why do you want to put something in your body uh, which is also my argument for ashwagandha i remember mm. when i started youtubing 8 mm. years ago ashwagandha was a very big deal on the indian internet yeah. for two reasons men sexual health and bodybuilding yeah I and also it curbs cancer related issues post cancerous stage okay yeah convalescence period ashwagandha is widely given Really? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know this. Yes, but, uh, even uh, the big drug companies who are into Ayurveda uh, deals with this in the uh, allopathic hospitals. We seldom know this kind of a product exist until we get a prescription from a, a cancer patient. After oh yes, this is an Ayurvedic medicine. Uh, I haven't seen this before. Mm. This drug, this patented drug medicine is not. Uh, I'm not aware of. So, I was actually surprised to see this kinds of medicine the prescription. So you're saying that whenever there is an ayurvedic ingredient in any medicine hmm. or in any supplement hmm. ideally don't take it. No. I'm telling about the particular ingredient that is extracted collagen glutathione melatonin supplements. 
Okay. So people don't know because I myself are I am doing research on developing some nutraceutical nutrition uh, supplements that can actually help the people. Okay. Without causing any side effects. I think you're saying that there's many companies that aren't doing enough work in yes. research. Yes, it's not only about the companies, Ranveer. It's about the trend that is coming in. Okay. People are otherwise businesses are are forced to get into that trend mm. to make utilize of this trend. Mm. But they only know some suppliers, random suppliers. They said, "Ah, yes, collagen powder is there. This much is the cost. So this and this mix it, okay. and then you make gummies, collagen supplement powders." But where does this collagen come in? Marine collagen is available. From where? How is it this extracted? Mm. What synthetic processor chemicals are done are uh, are undergone for extracting and processing these things? Right. It's unknown. Yeah, it's this whole thing about again Dr. Neeraj Rai, the molecular biologist on the show. He said that people don't even know the kind of stuff that's going into their bodies today. Just through the food, just through the vegetables you buy, just through the meat you buy. There's a lot of stuff going into your body if you're living in the modern day. Yeah. So it's always best to stay natural, and that's what actually brings me to the end of this conversation with you. What I've learned through this episode is one, mm. I read this deeply subjective, mm. and then there's different degrees of generalization. So all the home remedies we see on YouTube are the largest form of generalization, and it may mm. or may not work for you. Yeah. Um. Rather than that, go for formulations from ethical Ayurvedic companies. Mm. If you truly wish to deep dive into Ayurveda, mm. and you know, if you're not going to go to a Ayurvedic doctor yourself, yeah, which yeah. I think is most human mm. beings, honestly, everyone wants yes. a quick fix. Yes. Uh, which was the whole point of yeah. bringing you on the show. I wanted to like celebrate someone like you who's celebrating the subject. Yeah. So TRS Clips has all sorts of videos and all sorts of playlists. Make sure you explore the channel by subscribing and heading to our homepage, reading through. Play this.